Hi, how y'all doing? Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a reading for the collective. Hi, collective. How are you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, let me move this just a little bit. So if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, baby. So yeah, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to be doing a collective reading for all 12 zodiac signs. Um, there are some sign readings that we will be uh, working on today. But I want to go ahead and do the collective because on what's today, Tuesday. On Tuesday, I normally put out a collective. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start with the collective. Then I'm going to jump into, I think Aries is the next sign up on the list. I have Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Pisces, Virgo, and Gemini are the signs that need to be uh, done. And they're going in that order based on views. Um, and that's the, uh, based on the numbers from yesterday. So anyway, y'all, let's get into it. Let's get it. Let's go. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of all 12 zodiac signs of the collective. Clear, honest messages on, on behalf of all 12 zodiac signs of the collective. What is it that we need to know? I thank you. Uh, Ashe. Yeah, y'all. How y'all doing this morning? Y'all looking good? I feel great. I feel really, really good. I slept good. I stayed up late um, trying to download uh, Taurus. Uh, uh, was it Taurus? I think it was Taurus's video last night. So I stayed up late. Um, did a couple things of laundry. And then I get up early. I know I get up real. It's a crack of damn dime. <laughs> to get even more done. But now it's time. You know what, y'all? This morning when I was getting my coffee ready, I was thinking about something. You know, to whom much is given, much is required. I can remember when I was in a spiritual house. Um, One of my God brothers, especially, wanted to be the chosen one. And, you know, it's funny to me. What is funny to me about being the chosen one is that how much responsibility is uh, given to a person when they're chosen. And, you know, one of the things that probably obsess a lot of people when it comes to me is I tend to be the black sheep. I'm always the black sheep of a, of a, of a dynamic, of a situation. Um, always. I always have been. <laughs> Even in my family, I would be considered the black sheep because I do things that other people just don't do, honey. You know, I never followed religion, as my parents said, or what was passed down. I've always been the one who will say why. I've always wanted to know why. I'm the one who will always go a little bit further sometimes with knowledge and trying to gain understanding. And being the black sheep, sometimes people will dismiss you and think that you're of little value or importance. So they don't want to tell you as much. But I know one of the things that pisses people off is when the one that they thought was the least of them becomes the greater of them. And an example of that would be uh, Joseph and his brothers. <clears throat> Y'all remember the story of Joseph? Joseph was the young, youngest, I think, of 12 brothers. And his dad favored Joseph, made him that special coat. And the brothers got mad, tore up the coat. Remember, they ended up selling. They hated their brother so much that they sold him into slavery, right? So here was Joseph became a slave. And then he ended up going from a slavery, being put into this prison. You know what I'm saying? Ended up getting out of the prison and going to work for the king because he could interpret dreams. Now, Joseph, all this bad stuff ended up happening to Joseph just for Joseph at one point in time when the land went barren. Here it is now. He's like the second in command of Egypt. So here comes all his brothers who had sold him into slavery, told their father that he had died. And here was Joseph was the one who was ending up uh, saving the very people who had done him wrong. So one of the things that um, I have been thinking about this morning is the responsibility of being a chosen one. Now, why am I saying all of that? Because 
you know, y'all, sometimes people can want something because the title looks nice. Sometimes we can want stuff because it looks like uh, you get accolades and a pat on the back. But the truth of the matter is, when you are chosen, you go through a lot of trials and tribulations. Sometimes you have to go through what they call separation. Because that's exactly what happened with Joseph. He ended up being separated from his family. Not because he had done something great, but because of the circumstances of his brother's jealousy. So I want y'all to understand that and when you are being chosen for something by the most high God, people are going to be jealous of your um, favor. People are going to uh, want that sometimes for themselves, not knowing. See, they don't understand. People always want that glory. They want that pat on the back, but they don't want to go through the trials and tribulations associated with that. So I want y'all to think about that before y'all start asking God for certain things. To be chosen means you're going to go through a lot. You're going to be separated. You're going to be run through the mud. You will. There's going to be times things are going to happen to you that's not fair. It's going to be times where you're going to get knocked down, but to be chosen also means that you better learn how to get back up again and how to rely on the Most High and your spiritual team. Now, why am I saying all that before the reading? I'm not sure, but that's one of the things that I want y'all to think about because, see, for one of my God brothers, being the golden child was really important to them. That he had all the spiritual gifts, that he had all the spiritual knowledge. He always wanted to know more than all of us in the, in the spiritual house. And he was favored by my godmother at the time. Now, um, while he may have all that knowledge, he hoards the knowledge. He never wanted anybody else to know the knowledge, and nor does he share that knowledge with anybody. So, to whom much is given, much is required. God does not give us these gifts to hold in our pocket and to hoard. We are supposed to share these and use them to raise up the collective. But I know one of the things that pisses everybody off is the one that was the least of them has now outdone everybody. I, I'm i very close to having 1,300 subscribers. So that means that who, you know, I took it very seriously. I took teaching seriously. And now, in a way, it looks like I have 1,300 <laughs> students. So, like I said, the one who is the least, um, like, I feel a little bit like Joseph in this story, um, has now outdid some things. But that's not to pat myself on the back because I go through a lot of trials and tribulations and God does require a lot. So, I want y'all to think about that. If you're not ready to step up to the plate, then don't volunteer. But if you are ready, then get prepared that you're going to go through a lot to sit in that position and that seat. Um, you're going to be called names. People will lie on you. People will drag you through the mud. Um, so that's one of the things that I would really prefer all of you all think about when you ask God for elevation. With elevation comes separation. If you're a person who needs a lot of attention, you might want to not choose to be a, a chosen one because chosen ones are separated. Look at Joseph. He had to leave everybody and everything that he's known. If you notice my life, I've, some of y'all, I have told y'all, I am separated from all of my family. My closest family probably about eight or nine hours away. Um, I tend to go through a lot of trials and tribulation where I have to only lean on nobody but the most high and my spiritual team. And I also go through a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of spiritual attack 24 seven. It just doesn't stop. So that's one of the things I want you to think about. So while it looks good to hold a title and it might look on the outside looking in like somebody is, oh, they just look so blessed and highly favored. You best believe that those that sit in a position of teacher, role model, um, I wouldn't even call it being a golden child. I don't look at it that way. Because like I said, you're doing work for the most high God. This is not about what you can gain from it. This is not about who's better than another. This is really about helping others. My goal is to help others. I'm not getting paid any extra money from this. And some can say, oh, well, you're on YouTube. You're going to be making money soon. Y'all don't know how this stuff really works. It does not work <laughs> quite the way people may think it does. This is not about, oh, I'm better than anybody, but I really do care about y'all's soul and what is going on with y'all because there is going to come a separation. And I'm trying to help as many of y'all before the separation 
occurs. That's why I'm trying to get as many of y'all to have a relationship with the Most High God and to develop a relationship with your spirit guides, your ancestors, and all those that walk before you and the angels. Because when stuff gets hard, and it will be getting hard, y'all, y'all better learn how to lean in. And when you don't have the support or somebody lifting you up, you're going to need some, you're going to have to have something to draw off of. And you're going to have to know how to go into that well of, uh, of information and learn how to lean on spirit properly to be able to lift yourself up. So this is not about being the golden one or being number one or having somebody pat you on your back. This is serious. This is serious. It comes with a lot of responsibility. So before somebody says they want to be the golden one or the chosen one or whatever title the world tries to put on it, you best believe you are putting yourself up as enemy number one. And Satan is going to come <laughs> as a horde of legions of demons to, to jump into other people to knock you off your square. That is what this is. You go through a lot. A lot of stuff that happens to you is not fair. You're not going to understand it. It's going to piss you off because people will do things to you. And you're going to be sitting back going, well, damn, what did I do to them? It's not worth uh, it. It's just not the stuff you go through. It's, it's not going to be fair, honey. Life is not fair, and you know, if they did it to Jesus, who is supposedly the greatest teacher of them all, you know what I'm saying, one of the greatest teachers we ever had to walk this earth, then you know, you best believe they're coming for you, okay? People have said things about every spiritual teacher um, under the sun, but it is not an easy job. It is not easy to turn the other cheek. It is not easy to not go low. It is not easy to not have hate and resentment in your heart. It is not easy to always stay in the right perspective and seeing um, things from a higher view and trying to pick the the um, the nicer route. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people get mad and the first thing we want to do is we want to hit back, but it's, it's not easy to turn the other cheek. It is not. It is just not. So y'all think about that before you say you want to be in charge of something because this is not something God takes lightly. So y'all think about that. I don't know why I'm saying all that, but it's just something that popped in my head when I was getting my makeup on. Um, I was listening to a reading and she was talking about Joseph, but what was so crazy before she got to talking about him, I was thinking about the golden child, the one. Because I know my one, my one uh, God brother wanted to be the golden child. But like I said, it comes with a lot of responsibilities and not everybody is willing to make that self-sacrifice um, or have that self-discipline required for that type of job or that type of role. So think about that, y'all. Especially if you're somebody who feels like you have to be number one. This is not kindergarten. I remember when I was in kindergarten, we always people always wanted to be the line leader when I was in elementary school. Who was leading the line? You never wanted to be at the end of the line. Everybody always wanted to be the line leader. Because that felt made them feel like they was leading something. But to be a leader means you're going to go through a lot. So you best think about that. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Spirit, guides, ancestors, great divine. What is it that you have for your collective this morning? What is it that you got for your collective of all 12 zodiac signs? What is it that we need to know? Let's kick it off with five cards. Like I said, I don't know why, but they did ring my ear right when I was watching that, uh, that reading and she brought up Joseph. And I thought it was so funny that she was bringing him up right when I was thinking about, well, what does it mean to be uh, the chosen? You know, you also have to give of yourself when you don't want to. You might not feel like doing stuff. But sometimes you have to give up more of your time when you might not want to give of your time. But that's just what comes with the territory. Think about how many times Jesus wanted to go off by himself and just meditate. And here comes one of the disciples or somebody who needed him or somebody who wanted to uh, talk to Jesus for whatever reason. He always had to stop what he was doing to, to you know, Put somebody else's need before their own. That's another thing. You got to be able to put people's needs before your own. If you're not willing to do that, then it's okay. Right now might not be your time. It's okay to take a, a, a lesser role. It's okay to not step up to the plate because many are called, but few are chosen. But when God calls you, are you going to step up to the plate? Are you going to help uh, raise the consciousness of a collective? This is not a, 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 a you know chosen for one or two of us. But all of you all have the possibility of being spiritual teachers or raising up to do more. But do you want to? Not everybody wants that responsibility. 
Think about it. All right, y'all starting off with the seven of pentacles in reverse. The uh, six of pentacles upright. The eight of pentacles, I mean, excuse me, the eight of swords in the upright, the tower upright, and the three of wands. Somebody was giving away their money really, really fast here. With the seven of pentacles and the six of pentacles right next to each other, this is somebody giving away money. Money was going out faster than it looked like they was coming in. And it was because they were helping others. Now, in helping these people and giving away your money really, really fast, collective, somebody here then ended up trapped. It ended up putting somebody, it ends up putting you in a mental bind because now you have given out your money faster than it was coming in. So money going out real fast to help others. And now it's put you in a middle prison because now your funds are all locked up. Now, when your funds get all locked up, now you're in a middle prison because now you may not have as much because you have been helping others. Now a tower has occurred. So now that you have gone through a tower, now you realize in some sort of way you have now self-sabotaged yourself in trying sometimes to help another. Interesting. I can see now, Spirit. I see how y'all trying to have that little talk I had. Go with this reading. I can already see it. Uh, clarify this. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords in, I mean, excuse me, Three of Swords in Reverse. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Eight. <laughs> the Three of Swords in Reverse um, with the Six of Swords in Reverse and now the Sun card. So listen, after your money was going out really, really fast, okay, it should have been coming in fast, but it's just as fast as it was coming in, it was going out. So now after going through that experience, somebody now wants to heal with the three of swords. You want to heal uh, what has happened to you and you want things to change, okay? Now, you want to go back to a time when your money was cool. You had money coming in fast, but it, maybe it wasn't leaving your pockets <laughs> as quickly as it was here. And you remember the times when you were really, really happy. So some of y'all wanted your finances to heal. You wanted to go back to money coming in quickly, but you're able to hold on to it. It's not like you're going, the money is, uh, you know, you're not spending it fast as you get it. You know what I'm saying? You want to go back to a time when you were more harmonious and more happy. Let's talk about it. Spirit, clarify this six of pentacles. Um, clarify the six of pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the King of Cups. Now, when you are in the position of a Six of Pentacles, this is somebody who won. They're in a position of power over the other two. This is somebody in an elevated position. They have it. They got on their red coat, almost uh, reddish, orangish there. So this is somebody who is, uh, they have uh, good stability. This is why they're able to help others balance out their skills because they got it to give, right? Well, this is being clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse. Now, the Eight of Cups in reverse, is, it looks like just even though this person is helping others, this person wants to go back to a time where they only had to worry about themselves here with this Eight of Cups and the Hierophant in reverse. They wish that they weren't connected to maybe these two that they're giving out this pinnacle to. They're, they're hoping or wanting to go back to a time where all they had to do was worry about themselves. Okay? But no, this person, though, even though they're kind of wanting to go back to a time where all they had to do was worry about self or do with their own thing, this person, though, because they are giving out their coins, they do so from a place where they have a lot of love. They got a love space here with the King of Cups. This is somebody who is not just giving they want to go back, but on the other hand, they got a lot of love to give, okay? This is somebody very caring um, who cares about the needs of others as the King of Cups. So on one hand, they want to go back, collective to their own thing, but on the other hand, they got a lot of love to give. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please, Spirit. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Four of Wands in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse in the High Priestess. So that's the Eight of Swords. So this is when somebody is trapped in, in this mental prison. Now, the reason why this person feels trapped in, in a mental prison is because they are unstable. 
here it was <laughs> a relationship may have ended it in ending the relationship now they're unstable now they're in a mental prison they all caught up and they don't see no way out okay now this person realizes that hey they can't sit on their butt. They ain't got time to be sitting here being closed off. They got to get up and do something. With the four of cups in reverse, this means that you got to get up off your ass. You got to come up with a plan. You got to do something. So what does this person do? Well, with the high priestess here, <clears throat> they decided, well, it ain't no secret. I got to get up off my butt. I got to do something. But let's clarify that high priestess. Spirit, can you please clarify the high priestess in reverse? The high priestess in reverse is clarified by the king of wands upright, the four of swords in reverse, and the five of pentacles. So what was becoming more and more obvious was not only was this person trapped in, in an unstable position with that four of wands, now they're realizing they need to get up and do something because with the high priestess, somebody did not use their intuition. They did not listen to that inner voice of theirs. Instead, maybe they were chasing behind a king of wands. Now, king of wands is quite sexy. Maybe somebody was chasing uh, an appearance of how something looked and they might have also been chasing that wand energy here okay and this is something somebody has thought about like maybe i allowed my heart to uh take place over my mind so it's like here it is i love this person i need to help this person so maybe you was in a relationship um collective with somebody that meant a lot to you and you had you were in a position where you were more uh financially stable than that person hold on a second y'all you are more financially stable than that person you have a great deal of love for this person but you do remember a time when all you had to do was worry about yourself but when you love somebody you care about them. You always try to lift, take your hand and lift them up, right? But now, because you had so much love for this person, now you're unstable. And now you and this person has broken up. And you know, you're left to, like I said, pick up all the pieces. So you got to get up off your behind. You ain't got time to sit there and mourn. You ain't got time to sit there and cry. You got to get up. You got to do something. So with the high priestess here in reverse being clarified by this king of wands, some of y'all might have thought this person was good looking. Honey, some of y'all liked what was going on in that bedroom with that wand energy. And you think about this. Some of y'all stay up at night sometimes thinking about like, dang, I really thought that person was attractive. Woo, they had that good old whiny wine. But she had that good old wop, honey. That macaroni in a pot, it was so good. You think about that. You think about how much you love them. But then, despite how much you love them, this person left you. Left you out in the five of pentacles. Somebody left you out in the cold. This one person that you was willing to sacrifice so much for, they did not have the same love for you, and they left you out. Now, because they left you out in the cold, now you have experienced a tower moment. Spirit, please clarify uh, the tower. Clarify the tower, please, Spirit. So, now... You have experienced a tower moment because now you're left out in the cold. This person has broken up with you and it has hurt some of y'all's feelings. How do I know? Because you thought this was going to be your 10 of cups. You know, a family dynamic ended and now this person is no longer with you and this is bothering you. So some of y'all are now, not only have you experienced this tower, but now you feel defeated. You feel defeated because now you don't have what you wanted, which was a family dynamic. But you know you can't sit here. You can't sit in a tower. You had to get up with that four of cups in reverse. You got to get up and do something. So, yeah, you might have experienced a tower. It might have felt like the rug was being pulled from upon your feet. Somebody left you. Somebody that you loved, that you was helping out, that you was looking out for. But they didn't have the same love and care for you because they upped and gone, left you out in the cold. So now you're experiencing a tower and you're there to pick up the pieces by yourself. But you need to get back to a place where you can restore your own faith. So you have to look out for you. Let's clarify the three of wands in reverse. Now, this is some sabotage. Somebody sabotaged the plan. Let's see what they sabotage. Spirit, clarify the three of wands, please, for me in reverse. What's going on here? Three of wands. 
clarify the three of wands. The three of wands is clarified by the two of swords upright. The nine of wands <laughs> in reverse with the ten of pentacles. So what you thought was going to be a ten of pentacles situation, one where there was going to be legacy wealth, everybody getting along, everything is great, ended up being that somebody sabotaged your connection and now y'all are at a stalemate. And now you feel vulnerable like you didn't just put yourself in a messed up position. Because you love somebody. You let down your guard. And then this person upped and they self-sabotaged the situation. Or they betrayed you in some kind of way. When you thought that this was going to be something where y'all was going to end up growing. But then that's not how they left you. They left you without very much. So now you feel vulnerable and you're at a stalemate. And you can't really see your way out. Because now you're not talking to this person. Y'all are at odds. And you don't see your way out. And you feel, like I said, vulnerable. Like you are like you had no boundaries. Like, oh my God, I had no boundaries. I was up here taking care of somebody, just willy-nilly thinking they're gonna have my back, and then they did not. All right, spirit, let's get five more cards out here. Or was it six? Five. Let me get five more. So what's going on here, spirit? So somebody left you in a position with the two of pentacles where you was juggling financially and emotionally. And all you thinking about is how can I go back to a time where I can heal my finances and get back happy? See, with the two of pentacles, now you're juggling financially and emotionally. And this person could have been juggling you. And with the seven of swords, now you feel like somebody tried to get away with something. They tried to leave the connection and get away with something. And now you all you can think about is how you want to get free from the devil. Yes. Yes. This person may have, you may have found out that they was juggling you. Like I said, financially, emotionally, or they might have actually been juggling you with someone else, which made you, like I said, feel like this person had manipulated the situation. Like they was trying to get away with something. This was somebody that you love, but now y'all are at, uh, y'all have broken up. And you now that you have broken up, it looks like somebody is trying to get away with something. And this makes you upset because now you just want to get free. You feel like you didn't got caught up. Got caught by the devil and all you want to do is get yourself unbound from this. What can I do to get myself back free? What can I do to heal myself? What can I do? Because a lot of this person that you uh, love that upped and left you, that you feel like manipulated you, left a lot of y'all <laughs> going through nine of swords, which is a dark night of the soul. This is where you're sad. You're upset. This person makes you feel hurt in your heart. A lot of y'all cried over this breakup. A lot of y'all was like devastated. Not only are you devastated that you lost your love, but <laughs> now you want to get free from the devil, but you caught up financially as well as in your heart space. So a lot of y'all was not even sleeping at night when this breakup first occurred because you were stressed the hell out. So now all you think about is, okay, I'm stressed out. I'm in a financial bind because me and this person has broken up, but I was one of y'all had more than the other and the other one was trying to help. So now all you think about is how can I go back to a time where I don't have all these burdens on my back, where I can heal and I can be happy. Okay. Let's see what you got spirit. Give me five more. So with the four of pentacles. Ooh, mm, Y'all got the four of pentacles upright, the knight of cups upright, the judgment upright, the knight of swords in reverse with the strength card. So it's like now you're thinking about how can I hold on to my coins? I can't be the knight of cups. I got to start holding on to some stuff. I can't just fall in love and just start giving people stuff, trying to help them with their rebirth, having mercy on them. I need to, I need to pump the brakes. I need to start holding on to my pinnacle. I need to get money. Think about it. Somebody felt like now they got to be a little bit more selfish. They got to put, they have, you got money on your mind because you had, you fell in love and it didn't work out the way you thought it did. You was helping somebody else and then y'all end up breaking up and this person just upped and left. Just upped and left. So now you got to hold on to your pinnacles. Now you think about, hey, you know, I do love somebody, but I can't, just because I love somebody don't mean that I come in and I resurrect their situation, that I show them all this mercy. I need to pump my brakes. 
with the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is not when, when he's upright, you're rushing in. So some of y'all are thinking about, hey, I need to pump it. Uh-uh, I need to slow down. I can't be rushing in trying to save somebody. Uh-uh, can't, can't do that. Cannot do that. All because I want to make a love offer. I love this person. I'm coming towards them offering love, so I'm going to help them. No, you need to start holding back. You need to start thinking about self-preservation here with this four of pentacles in the upright. So, yeah. So, you're trying to stop, pump your brakes because why? Because now you upside down in your emotions because now you can't take care of your stuff. And then apparently this person has gone and they're not helping you. So, now you left to pick up all the pieces. Now, y'all got the Six of Cups upright, the Queen of Cups upright, the Lovers in Reverse, the Chariot in the upright with the King of Swords. So, even though you had a great deal of affection and love and kindness for this person of your past, you didn't want nothing for, bad for them. You just wanted them to have good. You wanted to give them love and kindness. You wanted to give to this person. You loved them. You adored them. Do you see the way she looking at him? You, uh, this little thing here, this person, you love them. You adored them. Uh, some of y'all just want to spoil this person rotten. But then y'all broke up, right? With the lovers reverse and somebody hot tailed their asses out. And they cut you off with the with the uh king of swords. So somebody cut cut out cut you out and um they didn't want to do this anymore. They left and the partnership has ended. Okay, spirit. Tell me more about this king of swords. King of Swords is clarified by this Nine of Pentacles upright, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Wands upright. So somebody out here thought that they really needed to cut you out, Collective, because they felt very confident that they were sexy, that they got a lot of attention from others, and that they didn't need you. That they was going to be <laughs> just fine by themselves. Now, I don't know if they drained you of your sources, and then they just upped and left. But somebody thought that they was independent and sexy, and that they didn't need you. That they didn't need to have you anymore giving to them. Now, they're cool. I got it. I, I can be independent. I, I don't need you uh, collective. Goodbye. So, somebody cut you out off <laughs> with the king of swords. You are, They thinking they're out here independent. And they're confident. They're feeling like they looking good, smelling good with the queen of wands here. They sexy as all hell. But this person also moves without forethought. This is also somebody who had a, a lot of sexual untamed energy. So they started going out and having sex with any and everybody. They decided they want to be a player because they started feeling themselves. So somebody was feeling themselves. They feel like I'm sexy. I can have anybody I want. And they did. They felt like they was independent. They was looking good. They had now, they're not in a poor position like how you found them in the beginning when you was giving to them. This person has now picked themselves up. They're not down here poor anymore. Now they're ready to go out here and they're thinking they got everything they need so they can go out and they can find better. I'm sexy. I can find better. And they're out here moving impulsively without forethought. Using that dang leg of that vagina. Having sex with any and everybody. Mm. All right. Let's see. What else do we got here? All right. Let's get some more cards out here. Yeah. So this was somebody <laughs> that uh, lets you know very quickly. You, you starting to see that this ain't going to get off the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Something here did not work out. So after this person has left you. Uh, they're independent. They thinking they're sexy. They, I don't know what they went towards, but they thought that they was going to get something off the ground. But now you didn't got fast communication and now they want to come on back. Why is that? Something here did not pan out the way that they thought it was. So now somebody wants to come back towards you collective after they had already cut you out with the queen of swords. So now somebody has decided that they want to come back. They want to come in with fast communication. Now they want to get something off the ground with you and you're probably confused. Well, why do you want to come back? 
because you were acting very emotional, unavailable, like you had barely anything to offer. You know what I'm saying? You would offer me a fish in a cup the first time. Like you was very immature with how you handle things. You just up and left. So what else is there, spirit? Let me shuffle these. What else you got for a spirit? And what does this have to do with my talk <laughs> this morning, spirit? Wrap it up and bring it home. <laughs> Bring it home, spirit. So, I think what has happened here now, now somebody has a plan. They feel like the plan is to get a new financial beginning. They feel like they got everything they need, but why do they feel like they can get a brand new financial beginning? Well, something in somebody's life that went to hell with the emperor in reverse. Something has completely went to the shit show and things have gotten out of control. Now, this person who was sitting in this nine of pentacles position is now in the page of pentacles. What the hell didn't happen here? And now, instead of going out and being independent, thinking they can handle everything, now they want to come back and now they need help. Now they want to attach to you. So somebody who at first was on a high horse, I don't need you, I don't need you. Now you about to get communication that they want to hot tell it back. But this was somebody who barely gave you any emotional stability in the first place. Now they left you, I seen it, left you to pick up all the pieces, left you in a bind. You was nothing but kind to this person, you gave to this person. Six of cups upright, six of pentacles upright. This is somebody you was looking out for, you gave. When you had it, you looked out for them. But when that was their turn, they up and left. They up and left. I got mine together. I'm cool. Bye. They deuced you out. They thought they could do better than you. But now this person needs a new financial beginning. They, and they need to attach themselves to somebody. So they got a plan because now their life is out of control and they in the page of pentacles. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to collective. Why do they want to come back to you? Because you're experiencing good luck with the wheel of fortune upright and with the seven. Of, oh my God. Oh my goodness. So this person wants to hot tell it back to you because you're experiencing good luck. Now you have a lot of options available to you. You're looking like the king of pentacles. So this person feels like I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I will come back to them and give them the same thing I gave them last time. See, they thought I was cute. They thought I looked good. They thought that I had that look, you know, so this person was coming in and offer you a wand. They want to offer you some vagina or some dangling. Now, mind you, they didn't already been out here giving that vagina and dangling with that night of wands to any and everybody. Doesn't matter who. I, they could be young. They could be old. They could be straight. They could be bi. They could be trans. They could be whatever, 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 whatever. They didn't went out here and had their feel out in these streets. And now, because you are looking so abundant and they're in a page of pinnacles position, it looks good to come back to you, collective. This person <laughs> now wants to come back and have a new start with you. They're manifesting, trying to anyway. They're trying to manifest a new start with you and trying to come back to balance out the scales. Now they want to come in and give you some clarity and truth. Why? Because somebody out here thought that they was going to be an empress and now they're not able to birth the opportunities that they thought that they was going to be able to birth without you. So now this person wants to hot tail their ass back to you and try to make you an offer. Now, this is not a, the best of offers because this is the slowest one of them all with the Knight of Pentacles. This is something that may not even get off the, my nose is itching. This might not even get off the ground real good. This is somebody who's almost trying to, to me, this is an offer to, that to me is like a placeholder. Well, I'm going to give you this, but I need you to not move forward. It's going to take some time. To grow. So this is almost like somebody offering you a promise. It takes a while to grow seeds. So this is somebody who's trying to come in and, <laughs> and offer you an offer. But like I said, it might not grow that fast. Now, this person knows that they did not offer you much the first time with the Ace of Cups in reverse. They didn't have a whole lot of love, nor did they pour out a whole lot of love. But they won't come in and try to blow your head up that they got a lot of hope for this relationship that y'all can work in, is, uh, in partnership with the Three of Pentacles. Hey, collective, I got a lot of hope now that we can work this thing out, that we can actually grow money together. But mind you, collective, it's showing me here that you don't need to be in a partnership. You are in the position of the king of pentacles. You have big money. Somebody here got money, quite a bit of it, to, <laughs> to be exact. Somebody was in seven cups, 
good luck and the king of pentacles you got seven cups you in the position of the king of pentacles and you got options so you don't need anybody to have hope to grow money but this is how they're gonna spend it we, but we could grow together we could work together but somehow they thought that they could leave you and go out and be independent and somebody still ended up in a page of pentacles position so this person now wants to come to you collective and they want to get on that temperance energy and they want to ask you can we balance out the scales what can we do to make this thing work? Now, some of y'all are not going to even see this coming because it took y'all a minute to gain your footing. You're not going to see that this person all of a sudden is going to come back with their tail between their legs and that they want to apologize and now they want to work with you. This person, you're not going to see that this person wants to pull the swords out of your back and that they're going to have a whole story about how they think that y'all should get back together and go back to a time when y'all was celebrating. They want to tell you that they're not happy with this uh, relationship going through the Ace of Swords in reverse where it is completely dead and gone. They're going to tell you they didn't never mean to end the relationship and not give you no attention. They're going to come in and tell you that you are their personal wish fulfillment. This is what I really want to do. Collective is come back to you. I want to work on our connection with the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody going to come in and tell you that their real wish fulfillment is to work on a connection with you and grow Pentacles. But mind you, Collective, you are growing Pentacles by your damn self. Somebody that you helped uh, left you in a very messed up position and <laughs> somehow you freed yourself. But now this person wants to come back and work with you. Now, some of y'all, when y'all get this news, y'all going to want to block it with the, <laughs> with, you, with the Page of Swords in reverse. This person is going to reach out and some of y'all going to want to cut off the communication right away. Once you gain acknowledgement that this person is trying to hot tail their ass back to you. Why? Why are you going to want to hot, uh, cut off communication? It's because you're going to see that this person kept you in chaos, conflict, and they had you in competition with others. So somebody who had third party situations and now you realize that, listen, this person left me without money. This person put me in competition with others. This person... Uh, left me with a lot of chaos and conflict and now all of a sudden you need me to look out for you queen of pentacles with the death reverse the same one who just left me out here for dead is the same one who now needs me to pick them up take care of them and they want a death reverse because they're in a pitiful position now what does this got to do with the story of Joseph? Well, think about it. Joseph and his brothers, their daddy was well off. That's why he was able to get that special coat. The brothers was mad because they felt like Joseph had the father's favor. But I don't necessarily believe that. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes we just got one child that listens more than the other one. So you tend to, you know, gravitate towards the one that's listening, uh, you know. So they was upset. And they thought that they was getting away with something. But the very thing that somebody has stepped all over is what somebody is getting ready to have to go back to to lift them up a second time. So here it was that Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery. And then they ended up having to come back with their tails tucked between their legs and needed Joseph to help them because a famine had hit the land. Now, when that famine hit the land, Joseph, because he was in a second position of over Egypt, he was able to feed his family that had done him wrong. Now, some of y'all are getting ready to be in the same type of position. Somebody left you out here that you had loved, that you had cared for. You cared for this person. You adored this person. I could tell from the way you was looking at him. Somebody had your nose wide open. Some of y'all was deeply in love. Now, because you was deeply in love with this person and you looked out for him, now, you gave so much, it put you in the five of pentacles. Some of y'all ended up in positions where your finances was upside down because you cared so much about this person that you ended up giving too much and now you ain't got your finances upside down. Now, when you get upside down, you thinking this person loves you the same, but they hot tail their asses out, just like how Joseph's brothers left him. They turned their back. Hell with you, collective. But now this person ain't got themselves in trouble, just like Joseph's brothers. When that famine hit, somebody is going through a famine-like thing, and now they are in a position where they're going to need you. Now, I don't know what has happened, how God has elevated some of y'all, but some of y'all have somehow took nothing and turned it into something. And now you're back in a position of being a king of pentacles, and you're back in a position of power, and now you have your coins back stacked up. Now, now that you have your, <laughs> your stuff stacked up, 
you now um, have the ability. Now this person is going to come back and they're going to have their tail tucked between their legs. And now you have the opportunity to now choose to do what you either did the first time, lift them up and help them. Or you could turn your back and say, I've already learned this lesson. Now in the Bible, he helped his family that was different. But this time, this person comes in, they want to seduce you. Are you going to allow that? So collective, what is your choice? You have now been built up. You're now in the position of power. This person has left you. And when the going got tough, they asses got going. Now you have built yourself up. You have built your coins. You and the great divine of your spiritual team. Some of y'all have worked so damn hard. And now that your coins are up and now they're back down, here they come. Here they come. So what are you going to choose? This time, some of y'all could either choose to do something bigger and keep down the path your own, but for some of y'all, this is going to be serving as a test of temptation. Are you going to fall for the dang lane that you fell for the first time? You thought this person was cute. You thought that this person was good in the bedroom. This is somebody that everybody thought was cute, but you now know that this person been out here swinging it high and low for everybody else, and here they come needing you collective because you're the one who looks like you sitting in the king or queen position and you got these coins so what you gonna do are you gonna fall for it or are you gonna tell this person no because this person's pitiful they're in a pitiful state if they're in a page of pitifuls this is somebody who don't have all they need now they did this the first time and you helped them you loved them you were six of cups you gave them unbiased help but when you needed them they douched you out and they left you now you're in a different position. Got to some of y'all getting ready to be tested by God. To whom much is given, much is required. Are you going to be able to withstand and say no to this? Or are you going to help? Now, this is a little bit different. Or you could do like Joseph did. Now, Joseph turned the other cheek. He fed his family. He put them up in a place. Um, you know, he had the brothers separated. I think he tried to do something to the brothers strip them and do some little little small things but then when they realized it was joseph they felt bad some of y'all might be able to help this person with a helping hand but you may offer them a little help but not choose to uh give them all the help or go back to sleeping with this person and you know losing your finances and getting caught up because this is a test so some of y'all are getting ready to be tested by the most high this past person is going to come to you in a pitiful state um, you could start sleeping with this person if you want to, but they might be coming back with some diseases because they didn't been out here in these streets. You know, it's like a dog. If you don't have a flea collar on it, goes out here, lay down with other dogs, and then rolling around in the street, now it's then picked up fleas. You could get these fleas if you want to, or like I said, you could sell them, adios, I'm done with that, and stay focused on what you've been doing. Choice is yours, but get ready, y'all, because some of y'all are getting ready to go through a little test. This is a spiritual test. To see what you're going to do with it. Either you're going to give to one or you could give to the many. What is your choice? The choice is yours. Think about it, collective. And on that note, that's all I have for you on I Am The Light. Um, I hope y'all get what I'm saying here. If this went over your head, it might not be for you, baby. Catch me on the next one. <laughs> but if you do understand what I'm saying, y'all got a choice to make. Some of y'all are getting ready to undergo a spiritual test. Get ready. Um, it's coming up very soon. Very, very soon for you all. Uh, congratulations to those of y'all who picked yourselves up from the gutter, dusted yourself off. Now you get a chance to try again. Are you going to make different choices? Have you learned your lesson? That's the, that's the real key. Have you learned your lesson? What are you going to do differently this time? Are you going to fall for them good looks and that dang lane of that vagina? Or are you going to have to tell somebody, listen, because they're coming back and some of them are going to be pitiful. They're going to look pitiful. They might not have a place to stay. They might cry. They might be in sick. They might be all kinds of stuff. What you going to do? What you going to do? That's the question. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all I have for you. I am the light. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and you'll know when I upload. Uh, collective, I hope y'all pass the test. And if you don't know what to do, all you have to do is ask your team, what should you do? Weigh out your options. Ask the great divine, ask your spiritual team, what should I do? How should I handle this? You could also get a personal reading to figure out what you need to do or pull cards for yourself. You know what to do. Follow your intuition. It will never lead you astray. That's it. That's all I have for you on I Am The Light. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, like I said, hit that like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and you know when I upload. Until next time. Bye, baby.